Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Eric Coffey, host of ScoreContracts.com, where we teach ordinary people how to win extraordinary contracts. We are bringing you Sam.gov tips. These handy tips, tricks, tools, and techniques are things you can consider when getting registered in the Sam.gov system for award management profile. Alrighty, today's tip is annual revenue. So if you're going through and filling out the boxes in Sam.gov and you reach the box that says annual revenues, what do you do? Hmm? Well, the obvious answer is to put in your annual revenue number, right? Of course. But what happens if you don't have annual revenues? What do you put then? Well, you can't put in zero because that's not an acceptable number. So there's two paths that I take when pondering this all-important question. How much do I anticipate making and how much did I earn last year? Now, I can't tell you what to do because I'm no attorney. But many new registrants out there I know put their annual salary amount in that box. And then the second group of people that I know put what they anticipate earning this year, let's say ten dollars or $20,000. Obviously, to guesstimate what you may earn is a little bit more difficult than knowing what you made last year. So the, that path is the most likely probable scenario. By the way, things change constantly with the government. So make sure to read the box in the top right hand corner when hovering over that section because the government may start allowing new entrants to simply put zero in as an acceptable number. But if that's not the case, here's a few more ideas to ponder. Now, Eric, what about the legal implications? If you don't feel 100% comfortable, seek legal counsel or just call our help desk. That's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed today's tip on Sam.gov. Until next time.